Every jab, every feint, and every hook brings 10-year-old Doru closer to achieving his dream, his dream of becoming a champion boxer. He trains six days a week. It's a grueling routine, but he wouldn't miss a single day. Boxing is everything to Doru. Do you like it? Yes. Did you win any medals? I won two. Is it hard or easy for you to beat these guys? Easy. Have you ever been beaten? I always win. You've never lost? I've never lost. Boxing is everything to coach Petro Kaduk. He's worked a miracle in the Moldovian village of Grimankauts on the border with Ukraine. His boxing school is among the most successful in all of Europe. I would very much like to create world-class athletes. Creating national champions or participants in world and European competitions is very satisfying. And if these athletes receive awards, then I'm overjoyed. Dmitry Galagot is the European vice champion for his weight class. To keep his weight steady, he trains in an airtight suit. He has to deliver top performance in near sauna conditions for over an hour. Petro Kaduk is known for his rigorous training methods. But these boys feel honored to have him as their coach. They each have their own dreams of greatness. Those dreams don't include daydreaming. Duro might take time out for a game of chess with his little sister, but he's ambitious and focused on his goals. In the ring, he prefers to pit himself against stronger boxers, even if the odds are against him. I know they're bigger and stronger, and they have more practice. I want to become like them. And I will. His mother is proud of him and his determination. Doru's father used to box. Later, like hundreds of thousands of Moldovians, he worked abroad for years. Now he's returned to his village and his roots. This is where he's got his family. Petru and his wife Svetlana have big plans. The town council has given him use of an old school building. He's planning to turn it into a boarding school, a sports academy of his own. Over here, we're going to build a multi-purpose hall, 42 by 24 meters in size. It'll have viewing stands and provide space for competitions and training for other sports. He's not yet certain where the money for the academy will come from. The state finances the boxing school, but Moldova is poor and struggling just to cover daily expenses. The money doesn't really flow. That's the main problem. We sign contracts and transfer money, but the money comes in very slowly because the country's financial situation negatively affects the boxing school as well. As soon as school's out, Doru hurries off to boxing practice. He's been at it for about a year. He's interested in soccer and astronomy, but his passion is the boxing ring. He has no less drive and single-minded dedication than any adult. His coach has high expectations for him. Doru is a very disciplined boy who listens. Boys like him are very rare. He has a gift and comes to training and to work on it. When he sees a stronger boxer, he tries to copy him to become stronger himself. Petru Kaduk says that's what makes the difference between a good boxer and a champion. Maybe one day he'll have Doru's trophy to put in the case alongside all the other medallions and cups his boxers have won. I'm a coach with an international reputation. But I don't have the courage to leave the village. 
It's better for me to stay home. For boys like Daru, boxing is a world unto itself here in the village, a world of glory. That may have something to do with the success of Griman Kaud's boxing school. 